Welcome back to my walkthrough for the assignment, the DLC episode for the Evil Within. This is part number two of the first chapter of the DLC episode. And in this part we are going to collect five collectibles. There are a total of 14 collectibles for us to obtain in this chapter. This would be collectible number five. And now we're going to go through this door, which we have to force open. And we're going to sneak past a shaft so that we can reach another room in order to collect the second collectible, or actually the sixth collectible in this chapter. In order to open the safe, we need to input the numbers that we see on the paintings here on their respective dials and we know which ones to put based on their color but keep in mind that the numbers change from game to game so just because my numbers were 917 it doesn't mean that when you play the game your numbers will be 917 as well so always check the paintings to know which numbers you need to place on the dials and that way you won't have any problems now we're going to get collectible number seven we're going to point our light at another excited snail and these snails make very specific noises i don't know what they were thinking but oh well what can you do and now we're going to turn around and move to the next area. We don't have to worry about collectibles for a little bit. Pick up the bottle that you see here. And enter this room very carefully. There are two haunted in this room. And what we're going to do is try and lure the haunted that's approaching me into that room so that we can lock him inside so there he goes and now let's quickly close the door that way we don't have to worry about him now we need to get a key card in order to move to the next area but that haunted is standing in our way so you can do this from two different ways either you shout at the haunted to lure him away from the door or you use a bottle to catch his attention I'm going to shout I'm going to carry the bottle with me even though I don't Come need here. it so as soon as he comes turn around the key card is here there we go and now we can move to the exit before the haunted has any time to catch us he's standing there but yeah it's too late for you buddy we're out of here once again we're going through another shaft into the next area in this segment there are a lot of cutscenes but now we're going to get collectible number four in just a little bit first we need to point our light our flashlight in the right direction and I don't need this bottle anymore, so I don't even need to carry it, really. And we want to make the shadow of the stick match the star. And that way we can progress to the next area. The air feels so heavy in here. And now we're going to listen to another tape. After months of secrets, subterfuge and indoctrination, they brought me into their fold. This place is elaborate, to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly, my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. 
Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben, comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. This is not a negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We are expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that, and I, I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit, and we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis, and there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. Okay, moving on, we're going to get the next collectible. So just turn around here and you're going to find another excited snail. There it is. What were they thinking? That's the other collectible for us to obtain and now we're going to go through here. And we're going to witness another cutscene. But first we have to unveil the projector. It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far we've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence. Even on my patients with limited mental capacity, this method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts. A mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual, potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. That video, I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. Next up, we have to unveil three hidden images so that we can progress to the next area. So we have to step inside all of these curtains and reveal these hidden panels. I guess you could say this would be the place where the doctors did their consultations or something. It seems like it, at least since there are computers and so on. And the last one is behind this board. And there we go. And now we can calmly move to the next area. This research here, this is exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. In that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual. Perhaps it is better that I continue to be the one to contact in this situation. I'd like you to bring this man in. We should all be able to have a productive conversation. What did you say his name was? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano. Okay, so let's move on ahead and now we know that really Jimenez needed Ruvik because really it was Ruvik who, the, who made all of the research and discovered everything. Jimenez just really put into practice what Ruvik had planned and Jimenez, Jimenez really only wanted money. So, but we kind of already knew that from the main story of the game. We already knew that 
Jimenez even went as far as to threaten Ruvik and we all know he betrayed him in the end but it seems that at this point Jimenez really needed Ruvik otherwise he might have been sacked or he was close to being sacked That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? And this is going to conclude this segment, my friends. In the next segment, we're going to conclude chapter one. I hope you found the walkthrough useful. Just going to save my game. Take a little break. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all later for part number three. Take care, my friends.